welcome back to another episode of the Not So Super Fan. So, Rambo Last Blood. Um, well, this movie starts off, I would say Rambo is in a ha more happier state in his life. Because if you are a Stallone fan and you, and you watch the last couple of Rambo movies, you know, from First Blood to Rambo 2 and 3... Uh, genre uh, and Rambo, the one that came out <clears throat> before this one, um, shit never goes well for Rambo. You know, he's always like the outcast, you know, just trying to stay out of people's way. But it seems like God got it in for Rambo for some reason. You know, it's not, I think it's God just fucking around with Rambo because Rambo never has it easy. Um, but in this one, it starts off like he's in a farm. You know, he has horses and. He, he has this young girl he's, uh, you know, he's been looking after. He's a little bit happier, you know, it shows that. But then she tries, she finds out her dad, her um, father, her biological father still around who left her when she was a kid and she wants to go find him, but, and he lives in Mexico. Um, One thing is, I don't care if you're my child or not, but if I know something is wrong with you and you choose to go, and I tell you not to do something. I've seen it in the movies plenty of time where the parents tell the kid not to do something, they end up doing it and shit happens to them. And if you're my child, something happened to you, end up doing it anyway, that's, you know, that's between you and God. That's God's will. You know, let God take the will. Let Jesus take the will. Um, but she goes to uh, Mexico to find her dad, end up getting kidnapped and turned into a, you know, a prostitute, no, I would say a, not a prostitute, but a sex slave. Um, you know, putting drugs on her system, you know. If you look at the context of the movie, um, because that's what happened to the girl, I agree with what Rambo did, you know, uh, and he went to on a revenge fee. It's not like he went after the whole country of Mexico and started killing random Mexicans. This, this particular crew of gang of Mexican who did something wrong and he went after them. And it's justified uh, from what I see. And this movie here, um, the last, the first couple uh, minutes of the movie, uh, it's a bit slow, but it does give you a notion of why the last couple of minutes, why these guys deserve to die. Because you get to meet Rambo, it's quick. You know, you get to meet Rambo, you get to meet this girl, you see their relationship and you know, he, he kind of raised her and how you feel about her. And these guys end up, you know, taking that away from him. So uh, you understand why he goes on the uh, revenge spree. And I enjoyed every bit of it. Um, from him butchering them. <laughs> Yo, everybody in the theater was clapping every time he killed somebody. And some of those death scenes are straight out of a, a Mortal Kombat game. You know, even the last death scene was like, I was like, you know, that's a that's a fatality right there. And I'm not going to spoil it, but you guys got to see it. That's a fatality move. Most of those death scenes are like fatality move. And I really... <laughs> it's, not, it's like it's not something you want to say you enjoy watching on TV, but I really enjoyed those those kills from Rambo, you know. And nowadays, where you have, um, you know, you don't really get those last action type of hero movie. You know, we do have John Wick, um, but growing up as a kid, that's what we had: Rambo, Commando, Terminator, um, <clears throat> Chuck Norris, all these other guys. And, you know, when something happened to someone they love and they go on the version to you rarely see that, you know, especially something uh, bloody action like that. Um, I'm, I don't think this movie is going to get like the raving, rating buzz, you know, nomination that it deserved. But it is a fairly enjoyable movie if you are a fan of those um, action hero style movie. Um, and it, it, it was very enjoyable. I enjoyed every bit of the movie from beginning to end. And I'm, I definitely suggest... For you guys to go watch it. I'm going to give Rambo a B. Definitely check out Rambo out in theaters right now. Really enjoyed it. And trust me, guys. The killings. the Even though the beginning is a little bit exposition. But the payoff 
is great. The only thing that I, I didn't like was that last model off from Rambo, but that's about it. But that really enjoyable. Once again, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Did you, uh, if you've seen Rambo, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Are you a Stallone fan? Have you seen the last couple of Rambo movies? Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below, and I will be getting back at you with more reviews and reactions. <laughs>